Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining coilovers courtesy of Yanaka Motorsports. Now coilovers are a suspension component and they get their name from a coil spring which is over a shock absorber. So simply coil over, coil spring over shock absorber. Now coil springs are used kind of as an aftermarket uh, upgrade to cars uh, in order to increase the handling um, via the suspension. And so let's take a look at what's going on inside of a coilover. So basically what we've got going on is you've got a coil spring, as I've mentioned, which is wrapped around this shock absorber. Now if you haven't already watched my video on suspensions, uh, I go into a bit more detail on springs and shock absorbers and how each of those work. Um, so you may want to check that out and I'll include a link in the video description. Some other things that you've got going on, so inside of that shock absorber you've got the oil and then this piston here, when this shock absorber moves, this piston does not and so that fluid has to flow through little holes in this piston and that's what gives it the damping. So some other things going on, we've got a dust guard here and that's protecting this uh, piston which is inside um, from dust and dirt and debris, all kinds of stuff like that getting onto the piston and getting that dirty. Um, some other things that you're going to have in here, possibly, uh, a bump stop which will be behind this dust guard right here and basically if you have a rapid compression of that uh, shock you don't want metal on metal contact because terrible things will happen. So you'll have a bump stop there which will be like a rubber type material and so that'll help ease that uh, compression when those two do come into contact. That's especially important if you have your uh, suspension really low and you've got your car really low so you don't have much travel. So let's talk about some of the reasons why you would uh, purchase coilovers and why you would use coilovers in your car. So the first reason why you might use coilovers is to lower your ride height of your car, lower your car a bit. And by lowering your car, you can lower the center of gravity of your car. Now these particular coilovers for an Acura Integra uh, can be lowered up to four inches down from the stock height. So a lower center of gravity means you're going to have reduced weight transfer. So when you're going hard into a corner, uh, not as much weight is going to transfer to the outside tires and your tires are going to be more evenly loaded. And basically it's ideal to have your, uh, as far as friction is concerned, to have your wheels as evenly loaded as possible uh, in order to get the maximum grip around a corner. So more even weight distribution, this is for not only cornering but also for accelerating and braking. So when you floor it and the car leans back, uh, for example this is a front wheel drive car, so a higher CG means more weight is going to transfer to the back. A lower CG means that when I accelerate hard, not as much weight will transfer to the back and I'll have more uh, weight on the front of the car where the driven tires are so you can put more power down, uh, in this case with front wheel drive. Um, also in braking, you're not going to have as much weight distributed to the front, so you'll have uh, the front and rear tires kind of balancing out the weight uh, and the braking force a little bit more evenly. So that's one reason uh, why you might want coilovers. Another reason, stiffer springs, uh, why coilovers are used. So basically stiffer springs can be used to reduce body roll, um, and so basically why you want to reduce body roll is so you can maintain uh, the steering geometry or the, the wheel geometry uh, around a corner. So, for example, um, I just got this really simple drawing here, but basically if you're going around a corner really hard and your body rolls quite a bit, well then the steering geometry, or the wheel geometry is going to be altered on each side and the camber can change a bit. Um, and so basically your car's uh, wheels, as far as traction is concerned, are ideal when your body is flat and the steering geometry is perfectly uh, flat and set up so that the wheels are flat with the ground and you can have the most amount of friction. Uh, and thus go around corners at the greatest speed. So uh, the other thing why you might want uh, stiffer springs is for reduced wheel travel. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my car and explain this. So you can see with the stock suspension there's quite a bit of space for the wheel to travel and allow for the stock shock absorber to dampen out any movement of the wheel. However if you lower the suspension a good amount and this gap between the tire and the top of the wheel arch becomes smaller, then you need to have a stiffer spring so that that wheel doesn't travel as much uh, and you keep your range of travel in a smaller distance so that the top of the wheel doesn't hit uh, up underside of the wheel arch. Okay, so now that you understand why you might want stiffer springs uh, in, if you're going to have a lowered car and you're going to have reduced 
uh, wheel travel, then let's talk about some things that you might want to look for in a coilover. Um, and so I've got some things listed here, and basically the more you pay, the more of these you'll have. The less you pay, the less of these you'll end up having uh, in your coilover. So the first thing I want to talk about is height adjustment without altering the spring compression. So with this coilover here, you can see that you can alter the height uh, of this coilover without changing how much this spring is compressed. Now if you wanted to, you could also compress this spring a bit more as it's threaded there, but you don't have to. You can alter the ride height without altering the uh, spring's compression. Now the same is true for altering the, uh, the shock absorber. So you want that piston inside of there to have the maximum amount of travel as possible. And so by threading uh, the lower part of this coilover, then you can alter the ride height without altering the suspension travel. Um, another thing that you may see in more expensive coilovers, uh, adjustable damping. So that's one thing you could possibly look for. Uh, bump stops for rapid compression. You really want to make sure that a, uh, your set of coilovers does have bump stops, especially if you're going to really lower it down because you don't want metal on metal contact and you're just going to end up breaking things. Uh, and then finally a dust guard uh, like you can see here which protects that piston in there from getting dust and debris all over it. So just taking a bit more detailed look at these coilovers, these are Yonaka coilovers for a 94 to 2001 uh, Acura Integra and I will include a product link in the description if you'd like to check them out. Um, so basically this one here is the front uh, coilover and here for the rear um, and the front's going to have a 12 kilogram uh, spring rating and what that means is for every one millimeter of compression of that spring uh, it requires a 12 kilogram force. That of course being with uh, 9.81 meters per second squared uh, gravity. Um, and then so here on the rear it's going to have a uh, spring rating of 6 kilograms. And so you'll notice the front 12 kilogram versus 6 kilogram it's quite a big difference. Uh, and that has to do with the weight distribution of the car, the Acura Integra having a, about a 64-36 front to rear weight distribution. So thanks for watching and feel free to check out the links in the video description.